Okay then, so now we have our form right here. And when we submit this form, we're just logging out these different things to the console. But ultimately, we want to take this data and then add a new person to this array with that data, a new object based on that data. Now, in order to do that, we have to take our form data from this form, all of this stuff right here, and we need to pass that data into the parent component, app.svelte, so it can be added to this array because we can only directly edit this data this array from this component not inside the form component itself so i guess we kind of need to handle the submit event of this form inside the parent component not necessarily in the form component itself now you might be thinking we could use event forwarding on this submit event right here like we saw before inside the modal where we used event forwarding on the click events and we handled it over here in the parent, like so. Now, the problem with that is that it won't allow us to send the data that we have from the form up the component tree right here, because when we use event forwarding, we don't pass any data. We literally just forward the event, whatever that is. So we couldn't add people to the array this way. So we don't use event forwarding. Instead, we're going to need to dispatch what's known as a custom event from our form and then send with it the form data to the parent component app.svelte. So let's start this by going to the add person form over here. So the first thing we need to do is import create event dispatcher from the Svelte library. So I'm going to say import and then we'll destructure here. So create event dispatcher from Svelte. Okay, so then we need to create a dispatch function. This will all become clear what we're doing shortly. So I'm gonna say let dispatch equal create event dispatcher and invoke that and that returns us a function which we're now storing in dispatch. So whenever we want to emit a custom event with some data from a component to be handled in a parent component, we use this dispatch function right here. So we import create event dispatcher, which we invoke and that creates us the dispatch function. Then we use that dispatch function to dispatch a custom event from this component and we can pass with that some custom data. Now we want to use this dispatch function down here inside the handle submit. So whenever we submit the form, we then want to dispatch a custom event from this component. Now before we do that, I'm going to gather up all of the different data we have into a single person object so that we can then place that person object in this array. And that's the data we're going to pass with this custom event. So I'm going to say const person inside here is equal to an object. And inside this object, we want to pass in a name property, which is going to be equal to name up here. We also want to pass in the belt color, which is equal to the belt color variable we have. And we also want the age, which is equal to the age. We want the skills, which is equal to the skills array. And then finally, we need an ID, which is going to be random. I'm just going to say math.random. Now, this is not the ideal way of creating a random number because there is a very small chance that we'll get duplicates, but the chances are very small at the minute. Either way, if you were using this for production, you'd probably use a random ID generator or something a little bit better than this at least. But this will do for now. So now we have all of these properties and I just want to tidy this up a bit because where we have a property name and a variable name that are the same, we can do a little bit of shortening like so and it just implies that value. So it grabs the variable name and sets equal to that property. So let's delete all those. We can't do that down here because that's completely different. So now we have this person object and we want to now dispatch a custom event from this component which is going to send this object as some data with that event so that we can then handle that event over here and take that data so the way we do this is just by using the dispatch function and this is going to dispatch an add person events now i'm calling it add person you can call it whatever you want you can call it foo or bar or something entirely different i'm going to call it add person because that's what we want to do at the end of the day. So that's the first argument. The second argument is the data that we want to send along with this custom event. 
So the data I want to send along is this person object right here. That's the thing we're going to add to the people array. So I'm just going to pass that right here. So now when we submit this form, it's going to run handle submit over here, create this person, and then it's going to dispatch a custom event called add person and send along that person object as data. So now we can handle this custom event in the parent component because this thing now, this form is the thing that's emitting a custom event. So we can listen to that custom event on this component right here where we declare it. And the way we do that is just like how we listen to any other event. We say on and then the event name and in our case it's add person because that's what we call the event right here. So whatever we called it, we say on, then the event name and then we can set it equal to some kind of function reference. We'll say add person like so. Now we need to create that function up here. So let me now say const add person is equal to a function and by the way the function name doesn't have to be the same name as the actual event you can call this whatever you want but we've created that function now called add person and we take into this function by default the event parameter just like we would over here if we wanted to we could take in an event parameter we've seen that in the past now the data that we send along for the ride in this custom event over here is automatically attached to this event object for us and it's on a property called detail so i could say console.log and then e.detail and that grabs us whatever data we send along for the ride in this event so let me just demo this i'm going to go over here and open the model add in a load of junk and choose a belt color add person and now we can see that that object gets logged to the console awesome so this is all working we're receiving this custom event right here reacting to it and we're logging out the data that we receive okay so now we have that what i'd like to do is take that data and add it to this array right here now i can't just say that people dot push to add on the new person so e dot detail i can't do that because this is not reassigning a value. And remember, Svelte is looking for values to be reassigned. So we need to say people is equal to something new. That's the only way that Svelte recognizes that we're updating the data and it's gonna rerun things for us. So we can't do this. Instead, what I'm gonna do is, first of all, say const person is equal to e.detail. So I'm grabbing the data from the event object and then I'm gonna say people is equal to a new array. So we're replacing the array completely. Now inside this array, I wanna add the new person that we've got, which is right here, but I also wanna add all of the current items that we have right here. So I could say down here now, dot, 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 and people to take the current value of people, spread all of the contents of that by using the spread operator in front of people. And that's gonna take each one of these objects and place it in the new array as well after the new person. So the new person will be first. So now we're reassigning people like so. That is gonna trigger an update cycle for us in Svelte. It's gonna take the new people right here, update them over here, and then it's gonna pass those into this each loop right here so we can output a bit of template for each one of the new people okay cool now let me now just save this and go over here and open the modal let me say Sean and age 30 and fighting and running and orange bell add the person now we need to sort this out we want this to automatically close but if I close it myself now we can see that new person has been added right here and we're outputting the data now, at the minute, we're not outputting the skills. So if you wanted to, you could use another each loop down here for each person and grab the skills, cycle through those and output them as well. And if you manage to do that, feel free to leave your code down below so everyone else can see. That's an option. But the other thing I wanted to do at this point, once we've added a new person, is to then close the modal. Now, we know to do that, we just have to set this to false. So I'm gonna say show modal is now equal to false after this happens, save it and let's give this one more try. So name is gonna be Sean, age is gonna be 30, 
fighting and sneaking, black belt, add. And we can see Sean is now there. If we want to add a new one, I'm going to say Ken, age is going to be 40 and fighting and is going to be a brown belt at the person and now we see kent as well and also these can still be deleted everything still works awesome so there we go my friends now we've created this modal with the form we've worked with data we've worked with loops we've covered a lot of the basics of svelte and i think we know enough now to move on and actually work on our poll project which i showed you at the start of this series so in the next video we're going to start that by setting up a brand new svelte project